Okay, so uh, we're gonna talk about how to do a tune-up at home, what you should do for a tune-up at home, and then also what's involved in a tune-up at most bike shops. Um, they vary according to the bike shop and according to which tune you get, but for the most part, they're, they're pretty much the same. So when you're doing a tune at home, um, things that you really wanna focus on is you wanna focus on cleaning your bicycle, making sure it's really nice and clean um, so the parts last long, uh, last a long time and work really well. Um, so a couple things that you really wanna make sure that you do all the time is um, every two weeks about, like one to two weeks, and make sure you pump up your tires. Um, so the proper PSI, it's located on the side of the tire. Make, make sure that you look over the tire to make sure that the tread isn't worn out and also that you don't have dry rot or a hole in the tire so you're not gonna be uh, stranded and also so it's not dangerous um, when you're going down a hill and it blows out. Um, also, adjusting your brakes is really important to do at home. Um, the other thing you can do at home is just make sure that all the nuts and bolts are nice and tight on your bike. Um, a lot of times when you're riding along, um, I, I see uh, people that things fall off of their bicycles. That can be really dangerous for, for you and also for other people. Um, so just make sure that you're tightening down even, even small bolts like this, like for your uh, water bottle cage, just to make sure they're not gonna fall off. Um, another thing that you can do at home is make sure that your crank arms are nice and tight. So uh, making sure that all the bolts are tight so when you're pedaling, the crank arm doesn't fall off. And also, you can, um, if you know how to adjust your gears, you can adjust your gears at home. That's a good thing to do um, every once in a while to make sure that you're shifting properly. Uh, for, for doing a tune-up in an actual shop, like I said, most shops are pretty much the same, could vary a little bit. So what we, uh, what we do at Silk Road Cycles here is um, we go through the entire bike, head to toe, um, look over it first and assess if anything's worn out. Then what we're gonna do is we're, um, is we're gonna start with the headset. So we adjust the headset and then we take off both wheels and we adjust the hubs, so basically this axle here, uh, to make sure that they're running smoothly and they're not too tight and not too loose. Then we true the wheel in our truing stand here um, to make sure that, it's go that it rolls nice and straight, basically adjusting these spoke nipples so the wheel is pulled right to each side and it's tensioned to the right amount of tension on each spoke. Um, then what we'll do, um, if you do have a, uh, like a free wheel or something like that, we'll grease the free wheel threads, um, grease the quick releases, basically grease everything that needs to be greased, put it back on the bike, then we adjust your brakes um, to make sure that the brakes are working properly, that they're hitting properly, that your brake pads aren't worn out, um, and just basically look through the entire bike and make sure everything's tight and um, working properly. Uh, so the idea of a tune-up is that you want to make sure that you're doing a tune-up um, according to how much riding you're doing. So uh, let's say you don't ride too much, um, but you ride in season, like fair weather riding, then you usually want to do about a tune-up a year. Um, if you're doing a lot of riding, like you're doing a, a lot of riding just in season, maybe two tune-ups, maybe three tune-ups, um, basically what it's for is to make sure that your bike is running properly and also catching problems before they happen, like your chain is worn out, your brake pads are worn out, something like that. So it actually um, costs a lot less in the long run. You really don't want to be out in like a rainstorm and have your brakes fail or something like that. It's better to, um, to get a tune-up and make sure that everything's working properly before something catastrophic happens.